So this is a first-person blueprint template movie. When it first opens, you're taken to the folder called First Person BP, and in there is a folder called Maps. And this has the actual level in it that opens when you first open this project. But what say you want to create your own level? Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate back out to the content folder and create yourself a new folder. So you just do that by clicking on the Add New button and choosing New Folder. And I'm going to call this one My Maps. You could save your maps inside there, but I think it's easier to keep them out in the main level so they're easier to find. So with that folder now made, you can now create yourself a new level by just going to the File menu and choosing New Level. Now there are two types of new level you can create. Default comes in with a static mesh floor, a player start, and the sky sphere and a couple of other elements. The empty level comes in completely empty. It's very dark in there because there's no lighting etc. So generally it's easier depending on what you're creating and if you're just a beginner to start with creating a default level. So if you click on that square the default level will open. And you can see here in the world outliner that it's got the sky sphere, it's got a player start, it's got a light source giving you a bit of directional sunlight, it's got some atmospheric fog and it has that static mesh of the floor. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is to save that level. So I'm just going to go File, Save and navigate to the folder that I created called My Maps and I'm going to give this a title. I might just call it test map and click on save. Alright so that's how easy it is to create a new level. If we open my maps you can see that map back in there. So how do I navigate back to the original first person map? Well the easiest way to do it is to go back into that folder maps folder inside first person BP where that map is and you can just double click on any map to open it. If you've made changes before you do that it will prompt you to save. So that's how you get back there. The next thing you might want to know how to do is you might want to save this template exactly how it is but you might want to use it as a basis for creating your own level rather than creating a default one. So to do that you're going to go file save as and save a copy of this level with a different name. Now this is also a useful thing to do if you're working on a project and you want to save a record, a backup record of your level before you're about to make some major changes that you're thinking do I want to make those or don't I want to make those. So you've got a way of going back through some versions of your level. So I'm going to go save as and I'm going to navigate to my maps which it's defaulted to because that's where I last saved something and I'm going to call this first person test and click save. So now if we go to my maps you'll see I now have two levels in there my first person test and the default blank one I created as the test map. Now one thing that can happen once you start creating all these different copies of levels is that you might get a bit confused about which one is the actual level. And one thing that can make that confusing is which map Unreal Engine 4 will open when you first open this particular project and those settings are inside your project settings. So you go up to the settings cog here, you click on it and you go to project settings. And then if you look under maps and modes, so it's just the second thing down here under project, you'll see you've got two default map settings. The first one, the game default map, is the map that will be loaded by default when no other map is loaded. And the second one is if set, this map will be loaded when the editor starts up. So what often happens to people is they make duplicates of things, then they make changes, they close their project, they open up and they go, oh my god, I've lost everything because the level that's opened up is the old level that doesn't have their changes in it. So if you have a level that's the level you're working on and that's the one you want to start up when the editor starts up, you would click on this arrow and change the map that is linked to here. So to do that you just click on this arrow and I can choose for example that first person test map that I just created or that test map that I made from a blank default level. And then next time I close and then open 
my editor, it will open up with that test map.